capture a recording of EP. Electronic voice phenomena, EVP, these are sections of noise on the radio or electronic recordings that expose sounds similar to voices. Sometimes, paranormal investigators translate these noises as voices of ghosts or spirits. EVP is used by paranormal experts who attempt to contact souls of the dead or to simply hunt ghosts. In performing EVP detections, you can ask spirits questions or you can just let it run as you wish. At times, you can get voice tracks from ghosts or spirits themselves. In using the EVP you can hear some of the most incredible strange noises that a spirit or ghost makes. Here are some guides that you can use to capture a recording of EVP. You must find a place where you can do your EVP recording. It is best to collect the EVP between the hours of 6 p.m. and 5 a.m. Sadly, voices are not predictable as they can come through at any time. You must settle yourself down so that your movements will not cause a lot of noise on the recording so that it may lead to false positives. You must keep it short, if you are doing your first session of recording EVP. You must keep your questions simple and you must speak in a clear voice leaving a pause long enough for a response. When you are going to leave the recorder you must introduce yourself to the spirits or ghosts and explain to them what it does. The spirits or ghosts might not understand the concept of a voice recorder depending on when they died. This is the importance of your introduction. You can also use a method that often works in gathering EVP to set a schedule. A time to visit and do your session. In doing this method the spirits or ghosts will expect you and will be ready for you. If you are done recording you are ready to transfer your recorded sounds into the computer. In order for you to do that, you'll need a program called Audacity. This program is an open source application that is used for recording and editing sounds. It is compatible to run with operating systems such as Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, GNU, and Linux. If you already have the program Audacity this means that you are ready to transfer your recorded EVP into the program. Connect your recorded EVP to your computer and start transferring your tape. You must listen closely to your EVP recording and highlight the areas of the track that you would want to listen to more directly. This method of isolating the sounds that you find more interesting can help you to easily understand your recordings. You must know that the EVP is regularly spoken fast which consists four to five words and may have a loud strike at the end. It can also have an almost equally spaced type of sound with the words running together.
Capturing the recorded EVP will take a certain kind of hearing that you can only enhance through practicing. In time, you will find that it gets easier to capture. Having headphones with ear cups will help you in finding the recorded voices easier, because headphones with ear cups cuts down background sounds.